is absolutely hair-raising. The Royal Australian Navy celebrated its 50th birthday with a fleet entry into Sydney Harbour. Among the ships which took part in the historic and spectacular site were two submarines, ten warships and auxiliary craft, 34 planes of the fleet air arm and three helicopters. The carrier Melbourne and destroyer Voyager were returning from service in the Far East. And as crews of the ships lined the decks, tens of thousands of people ashore watched and cheered the fleet's birthday celebration. They made an impressive sight steaming in line ahead, and the ships and helicopters which hovered overhead were a lot different from the first vessels in the RAN. For Australia's Navy, though small, is modern and efficient. There's Parramatta following Voyager, Vampire, Quiberon and Quickmatch in this ceremonial entry into Sydney Harbour, the Royal Australian Navy's traditional home port. In the harbour itself, the ship steamed past the flagship, whose guns boomed a salute. And the salute was returned as ship after ship sailed past, decks lined with officers and men. A march past of ships, with Admiral Harrington taking the salute, accompanied by the Minister for the Navy, Senator Gorton. It was a great day for Sydney, despite fog which tended to shroud the ships. High on the Harbour Bridge Arch, workmen had a grandstand view as the Navy steamed below and naval aircraft roared in salute overhead. The Royal Australian Navy in its 50 years has done Australia great service. This birthday celebrated 50 years of naval tradition and was a promise that in the next 50 years, the Navy will always be...